What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And guys, I got an email from this sister. I will not put her name out there, but let's just call her A.S. She put the screenshot here you're seeing there. Please talk about this female version of Talcum X. So you know your boy had to get on the job because you know that if you are a non-black person pretending to be black and you know I am super pro-black, I'm gonna come for you because I love coming for Sean King. He's a bum, he's a fraud. All right, my grandparents were actually in the civil rights movement. My mother was uh, living was at UC Davis where they called Malcolm Hall, Malcolm X Hall in the 60s. So you, when you take a part of our struggle and you're not part of it, I have a problem with it. And now you see a lot of privileged people do this. And I'm talking about privilege being if they're white, and in this case, Jewish. This young lady here by the name of Jessica Krug or Krug. Now, she is an associate professor at George Washington University in Washington, D.C. Now, you know, George Washington is a very, very, very good school. Very expensive. You know, it's up there with the Georgetowns and, you know, stuff. It's a very professional school, right? And... She has been found out. Now she had to admit it because somebody found out that she wasn't not really that she wasn't really black. But she has pretending to be black for many years. All right. Now she teaches African history, African diaspora courses, and she wrote a book called *The Fugitive Mo um, um, Modernities* about slavery. All right, and you know she's been. Um, in the book awards, named the Frederick Douglass and Harry Tubman, all of these things she's been doing, all right? She also wrote um, other stuff, other things. And, and in this post, The Truth and the Anti-Black Violence of My Lies, she's talked about how she grew up in a as a white Jewish child in suburban, suburban Kansas City. Family, I cannot read today. All right? And she had no right to claim North African blackness, U.S. rooted blackness, any kind of blackness, but she did. All right. She talks about having to face her unaddressed mental health demons, assuming a false identity and all these things. But I I want to I want to talk to the brothers and sisters about how can she do this? This is the most important thing. Rachel Dolezal, Sean King, how can they do this? And especially the women. And the reason why women can do it like Jessica is because number one, they're automatically gonna get advanced in the race. If you're a white woman and you and you can pass for a black woman, I hate to say this, but in the white race, you're an unattractive woman. We gotta talk about this. If you're a white woman that can pass for a black woman, usually what that means on white standards, you're an unattractive white woman. And that means that you can't make it as far as beauty concepts are concerned in those respective communities. But what you can do is that if you're a white woman who has black woman features in the white community and you don't look so good there, you can come to the black community and be considered to be a good looking black woman. Now, shout out to Obsidian Media Network because he pointed this out with Rachel Dolezal. Same thing with Sean King. You know, as a white man, you're you're not necessarily what is considered handsome. But in the black community, Sean King, he looks like a mulatto light skinned guy. So automatically your mating preferences become more vast or white, especially whiter, especially if you are attracted to black men. All right. Immediately, you know how brothers are. Brothers typically. Not all the time, but, you know, black men are, are going to, uh, 
You know, and I'm not saying that all the time it happens, but there are a certain group of brothers who are going to go crazy over that lighter skin. We have those brothers in the community. We got to we got to admit that that happens. Now, secondly, if you are a white person who feels you're black, you can get minority issues taken care of. You know, you can work and say that you're a black person. You can get the advantage. You can say that I'm an American descendant of slaves. I'm ADOS. I'm African. And, you know, I'm a woman. So therefore, I'm a black woman. And I need this and that to be taken care of. I, I, I need to get this job. So you're going to get boosted up. Your career can move faster. And obviously to get a PhD in anything, even though it's the soft, you know, sciences, she's obviously smart. She comes from a good family. So you can be able to pretend to be black and you can get other advantages. She already has an advantage that she's from a Jewish family. So, you know, Jewish families are typically, you know, in the suburbs are very talented. Now you have that talented work ethic, the, the ability to be an academic and then use that as a black person. You got it made. You got it made. And thirdly, your opinion becomes something that matters because you are now a black scholar. You are now a black mulatto person. You're light skinned or you're mixed. The black community will support you. You get a lot of pull. So you're getting the best of, of the uh, of the men, you're getting the best of the money, you're getting the best of the academic responses, you're getting more recognition. Why would you want to go back to being white? But the thing about it is black people are so, in a lot of cases, uh, family, we are so, we want people to be in our community so bad. We would do anything to accept them. And, 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 and non-black people know that. They know that black people want to include other people in their group so much, they're not gonna have, nobody's gonna go back and look at it. Nobody's gonna actually investigate it. Nobody's gonna investigate the fact that these people are not really black. And they can they can come over and they can, they, they can live a double lifestyle and benefit off of your real struggle, get money, get positions. There was one guy, I was an Indian, I believe our I uh, remember hearing him and he said that he pretended to be black to get into Morehouse Medical School. Well, now it's too late. He already got a, he already got the medical degree now. You see? Too late now, right? And see, what I want to talk about is this. Black men and women. We need to have pride in ourselves. Pride in our people. Because you know that the, with the racial ambiguity that's out there, we have light skin, we have people that can not be us. We need to really start, family. And I mean this. Having more, having more respect for each other so we don't have to be the kind of people that, you know, have to jump at somebody wanting to be black. We have to be able to recognize who our people are. And trust me, when we look at her, we know that she's not our people, but we want her to be our people because many of us want to be that. We want to be associated with white people. It makes us look good. And we want to stay away from our own people. We got to stop that. Black is beautiful. It's the best thing. And we got to start having pride in our blackness. So that other groups cannot come in and have phony pride in our blackness. And then the thing about it is this. Then she don't even want to apologize for it. Same thing with Sean King. He told you flat out, I'm not apologizing to you. For what? They bold. She say she should be canceled. She don't feel sorry about it. She don't feel sorry because she thinks she's black. They should be able to make money be able to fit in and they believe that they should do that. You can never go to their community and do that. The Jewish community not gonna let you come over and do that unless you're a Jew. Now to be fair to them, 
if you were in the same religion, they'll let you do that to a certain degree. But they're not, they're not, not, not that dumb. They're not dumb at all, rather. And, 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 and Sean King will tell you in a minute, I don't owe you nothing. But at the same time, brothers and sisters, we allow other groups to come over to our stuff all the time. That ain't the only way we let, we let them do it. We let them do it in our businesses, in our, in our communities, they're in our historically black colleges. Family, we got to have more respect for our people than that. Too many people have died on our behalf to disrespect the race like this. It needs to stop. So, guys, that's all I got to say about this. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I really appreciate all of you and all that you brothers do. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. Thank you for that. Check out the... Um, Check out the um, Patreon. Check out the email. All my contact information is pinned to the first comment. I really thank you so much for all that you do. As you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.